Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called We Summon the Darkness. This is a 2019 film that was released in the USA in April of 2020, so it is relatively new. It does come with a rating of R, as in you couldn't have guessed that. It runs about an hour and a half, and it stars Alexandra Daddario, Kean Johnson, and Maddie Hassan. The description? Three best friends embark on a road trip to a heavy metal show where they bond with three aspiring musicians and head off to one of the girls' country home for an after party. Pretty generic description. I like how they don't give too much away. This is We Summon the Darkness. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to connect with me outside of YouTube, I have a new Facebook page called Danny's Movies and Music. If you would like to check that out, uh, get to know each other better than we ever would out of YouTube. I have more followers and everything and more bonus content there on Facebook. Uh, thank you for watching this. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, getting back to work. Things are opening up. Uh, movie theaters might be coming soon. But uh, this is one new movie that um, was supposed to be out in April. It could have been a theater movie uh, if there was nothing else to watch and everything. So hope you guys are able to seek this out. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. First thing off the bat is I'm going to try not to give anything away, but uh, this movie does have some things in it that are compelling, interesting, you know, what have you. Uh, the other person that it does not mention in this movie because he's not like one of the three stars, one of the three girls that it talks about um, is Johnny Knoxville. He plays a pastor in this movie, and so he has... Some things to do with the movie. That's all I'll say there. But uh, this movie is interesting. It does start off, you know, where it is. Just these girls going to a concert, getting to know these guys, and they bring them back to their house. And, you know, that's cool. Um, the after party turns into something, uh, as you probably could have guessed. And um, I won't give away what that thing is, but uh, it's confusing, to say the least. Uh, they try and make sense of it. They try to justify their actions. Uh, you know, they try to say how this and this makes sense that this is achieved. And uh, it all sounds pretty legit. Like, I know we're talking about an older time in the United States where maybe religion was, you know, used for different purposes. But um, I don't know. I just don't think of it as cult like you know and so you know what have you but uh yeah i think that the movie has a feeling of being kind of underwhelming uh it is in an older time so they're talking about older things they're talking about musicians that maybe not everybody knows um just in general conversation they're playing uh never have i ever which you know who plays that anymore and um they're, uh, I don't know, just some of the things that they talk about are kind of like, you know, just takes you out of the movie and takes you out of the feeling that they're trying to set you up for. And once things go to hell, then it's kind of like, oh, okay. And then that action is not very, A, professionally done, or B, very convincing, and things are just kind of on the fly. And... I don't like improvised action. Like, I can understand movies wanting to have a chance for the people that are captured to escape. And that adds an element of surprise and anticipation to the viewer. Because you don't know if they'll be able to escape or not. You don't like, you know, ones that it's just obvious. Like Saw. You know, that the reason why those movies are so good is because people have a chance to escape. Um, so this one gives that element, which is good, but it's not really logical that they're going to escape, I guess. I don't, I hate to, I hate to even say that, and I'm sorry if it, you know, ruins anything for you, but just the feeling of the movie does not give you much hope for anything. For good action, for, 
you know, grisly murder for anything. And uh, it, it, it has some things in it that are surprising, that are, you know, effective, but that's all it's offering. You know, the, the acting generally is horrible. The emotions that it present kind of fall to the side. The things that happen are pretty straightforward and predictable. And our um, storyline just kind of falters at the end. You know, it's just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, I mean, everybody's talking about the latest uh, Brad Pitt and who's in that movie with him. But it's about them being actors and, oh, Leo. And um, I don't think it's Leo. But anyways, um, Brad Pitt's one about him being in Hollywood. Um, everybody made a big old deal about that because it had to deal with the cult and it had you know this boring storyline and everything and I personally do not care for these movies because we know what's going to happen even if we are a little bit surprised we know that there's going to be some kind of thing happening but usually that thing is about all that happens in the whole movie and it's not that surprising because we've seen worse uh, so all these movies really have to stake themselves on is the violence and if you have any kind of twists. And this movie has one twist and it has a little bit of violence, but it's not surprising and it's kind of on the fly and it's not impressive. So I'm just going to give We Summon the Darkness a C. I can't suggest watching it, but I know people flock to these kind of movies. So if you're able to view it, I would say go ahead and view it, but I just don't know how many people are going to be able to. And I personally do not care for movies like this. I don't care for the acting. I didn't care for the actors in this particular film. Um, Johnny Knoxville does his part, but he doesn't play a huge part. And I think the violence can be worse in these kind of movies. Like, take it to another level. Because I want to be impressed. I want to see something I haven't seen before. Do something else. Do something more grisly. You know, do something. So uh, I can't shake this movie, you know, other than in the air, you know, implying it. But I just want it to do more. So I'm going to give a C to We Summon the Darkness. Thanks a lot, guys. My name is Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.